When modifying a transition by pressing Ctrl D, what information does the dashboard display? A, the project's time code while repositions the transition. B, the transition's duration. Or C, the trim amount of the incoming clip. So the first thing you need to know with Final Cut Pro in this exam question is what is the dashboard? So let's go ahead to Final Cut Pro 10 and let me explain to you exactly what the dashboard is. Okay, we're in Final Cut Pro 10. This is another wedding that I'm editing. And uh, the dashboard in Final Cut Pro 10, or at least what I know to be the dashboard, is this area right here. This is the dashboard where you see everything. From here, you can click to uh, see the audio levels and you can see all the information about time code, background task, and everything like that. So if we ask the, uh, look at the question about a transition. So the first thing we want to do is highlight a transition. And there's the transition across this wall. I want to hit Control D. And when I hit Control D, what it shows up in the dashboard? How long the transition is. So the correct answer for that would be B. Same thing if you want to see how long any clip is that you have. You just hit Control D. And you see that's 8 seconds and 16 frames. Control D, 13 seconds, 18 frames, and uh, 46 seconds and 13 frames. And this was shot at 24p, 24 frames per second. So let's go back to our question. Alrighty, so we're back at our question. And then when we're modifying the transition, so if we're pressing Control D, what information the, does the dashboard display? The correct answer would be B, the transition's duration. Now let's go back one more time to Final Cut Pro 10 and let us change the duration of the transition and let's see what happens when we hit Control D. All right, we're in Final Cut Pro 10. There's our transition. And right now we knew it was one second. Now if I wanted to make it longer by just pressing that, now I click on the transition, make sure it's highlighted yellow, hit Control D, it's two seconds. If I want to move it down some, we would see actually where it is. So the correct answer is B, the transition's duration. Anytime you hit Control D on a clip, you can see in the dashboard its duration. Thanks so much.